Welcome in once again, guys. We're here to feed that Yu-Gi-Oh cardboard addiction, guys. You guys, you watch right there. You already know. Hey, Jay, why you have the headphones on? Guys, today we're going to be having on Down South, a member of the channel. That is my guy. Always supportive in the, in the streams, always in the Discord, you know, helping Sage run things. Down South TCG is my guy. I'm so happy to have him on. It's been ages since I've had any member on, on the channel. I think it's been too long, honestly, because there's just so many great minds in the Yu-Gi-Verse, especially in our fresh off the press community. Um, and I believe Down South is definitely one of them. And you're going to see, it's not just my belief, but we like evidence, facts, data on this channel. And you know, his opinion, you guys will notice just very well thought, well versed his thought process we're gonna have fun with that guys and we're gonna start off we're gonna introduce down south here uh just like we did but this is his penny stonk of the day his penny stonk he's gonna give his reasoning behind it today and today is all about malice i promise you guys we were having a malice market watch and here we are and none other than um down south himself always in the live stream providing penny stonks cards that people should be picking up especially around this deck archetype so welcome in brother welcome to the channel welcome to the market watch um give us a couple of words what do you think welcome in yes sir man thank you so much for having me on you know it's a it's a pleasure even be considered to be on here um but i'm happy to hop on and help out hopefully be able to share some info on some of these cards for everybody of course of course appreciate you being on and again down south is always providing amazing value so again i can't wait he's gonna be opening his channel you know down the line hopefully soon so again down south tcg will probably leave a link in the description down below you know already he, the man is already in double digits with no video so he must be doing something right guys you guys want to be ready you can you know this channel is going to be fire i can't wait until it's up and running uh so there you go guys make sure you click um the link down below we got to be supportive guys don't matter no videos don't matter you know they coming that's all that matters so guys we have firewall dragon dark fluid from neil tempest oh well not from neil tempest man this name is so long i don't know how they fit it <laughs> in the damn card but here we are firewall dragon dark fluid neo tempest terahertz um from the 25th anniversary 10 dueling mirrors mirrors me and dow south were discussing this card and he mentioned that he has no clue no idea how this card is still in the shekel territory this card is still worth cents pennies the literal definition of a penny stunk under a billy here 60 listings only as we can see um quickly goes down i mean look ones other than the 16 wall of china um you know eh, mini wall you could say um it's it goes to 80 cents it'll be a buck a billy a bean or a bone pretty pretty soon so why do you think um down south that people should be picking up this penny stonk right now and they should you know use their harder money to be picking up maybe two three multiples in r9 of this card so i really think with this card you know it, it's just a matter of time before people start realizing that they they need it um, the Malice extra deck plays it. Um, it's got a couple of different effects and all of them are, you know, pretty solid for the deck. Um, it's got a floodgate effect. It can negate monster effects in the battle phase. So you're automatically shutting down Tempi. Mm. Um, and then the dump to the grave effect. So you can actually send an extra deck monster to the graveyard. Um, and that's where you see Mirror Logic Aggregator come in. Um, you know, you dump that. And then you get its graveyard effect. You can dump uh, Cyburst to save Worm. Um, and that gives you a spell and trap negate on your opponent's turn. Oh, um, this thing gets big. This thing gets big. <laughs> um, you can do, and you, it's not just once you get to do that. If it's this on the field, you can do it every turn and get an extra 2,500 attack every turn. That is just um, insane. That's crazy. Um, and if you look at the CR of this car, um, it's already started to move okay. there. All right. Um, and then we know how quickly these cards from the 25th tens can go. I mean, you've seen with the Centurion cards, and when something's in demand, it, it, it's going to go. Man, man, Down South made amazing points, guys. He just mentioned to you guys, he gave you various um, reasons why to buy this card. Broken card, broken effects. As you guys can see here um and and it's a prismatic secret like he said down south is always talking about pull rates ratios hitting the spreadsheets you know going into the data and realizing that these prismatics they're cheap today but they can become money easily tomorrow and especially a car like this we doubt it gets double dip it's not a, like staple staple per se to get double dip and bonanza so i really like this as an investment just um like down south said um and again look at the cr the cr was eight dollars single digits man and the card went all the way up to 40s after malice was announced 
look at that right now a little bit of a retracement with a couple of deals but not even too many quickly goes to mid 40s then 50s and beyond one page only almost single digit listings there at 10 guys insane when you see hype like this it's a matter of time that it transfers towards the penny stock towards the one that people are forgetting when they forget down south remembers he's here reminding you guys of this penny stock honestly i overlooked it this that's why i uh, overlooked this card and that's why i'm happy that he's here um because we can see the value in penny stocks like these about malice yeah we talked about rizio like uh, last week i think it was or two weeks ago it was it was not too long ago we talked about rizio and the best deck you know um in, in the future in the next two three months once we get the, the tachyon card is going to be broken you know tier one tier zero for whatever it is you know 40 45 percent 50 percent of the top cut in the ocg rise your format but the second best deck is malice so guys he just said that this card is in every single malice extra deck you guys want to be ready i can see the money already this is going to easily be worth a billy maybe even be multiple billies you want to be early not late so great assessment with this one I'm down south uh down south to start it off and then the cards that he mentioned the extra deck like aggregator we're going to talk about today and the other fusion monster you know we're going to talk about that later you know on uh, later on down the line in this market watch so stay tuned then we have signet mining guys signet mining is the staple of cyber's deck staples is their rota is the card that they need everyone that plays malice is going to need this card of course you have five prints anywhere from common supers ultra secrets i mean you name it even rares so the card is on track you know it has a, you know one of each rarity you know it's just waiting to get reprinted in bonanza in my opinion but you know that's a video for another day who knows maybe we have down south back you know to discuss bonanza you know it's in the plan so stay tuned but hey sign up mining great card much needed but hey look we're gonna discuss the secret here it spiked again malice got announced look at that went from six bones all the way up to 18s insane price spike here now retracing back down to the mean it says 13s but really we're in the single digits for the unlimbs right here around six sevens and the first deads are around eights so we're 50 percent half off discount if this card does not get reprinted in bonanza this is the card to be picking up so in the next two weeks be watching this card like a hawk if it doesn't come in bonanza you want to get exposure to the secret rare max rarity that could easily if it doesn't get reprinted go from eight bones you know into the double digits 20s and even 30s go crazy what do you think about this card down south that's a great point you have about bonanza there if this card misses then this card is going to skyrocket mm. um but i completely feel like we are going to get this in bonanza um it just makes too much sense we already got rota we already got some of the other Kind of generic search cards and i feel like this one fits the bill to be kind of a perfect card to go in there yeah. um so i'm i'm staying away from this one um i sold all my copies um Smart. if you got to play the deck then hopefully it gets in bonanza <laughs> yeah exactly i mean just like down not, south you're gonna said, be playing some commons <laughs> yeah yeah that's what i i mean me right here this is me right here you know what i mean if i, I would have three of these in my deck you know just let it slap it in the deck in the sleeve right there and let it chill and just wait for bonanza if bonanza doesn't reprint this car we switch the common we throw those away you know because they're worth it no i'm just kidding guys but yeah we, we would switch it for the secret rares i'm right there and go from there but yeah i mean it's a staple inside the deck you know and uh yeah i mean malice there's no way around it watch this car like a hawk um because it will become much needed we expect it in bonanza but it's all speculation we don't know and that's the beauty of the market so you know we started off with the you know one of the best two cards to be watching you know from this deck again here with a visual we can see the 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 you know the pie chart here rizio's taken over the meta taken over the ocg meta is not even fair it's not even close but you can see the gap between two and three three is at 5.3 percent and that's memento that's crazy but you know the gap between two and three is large here with malice taking a strong second place with 14 percent. yeah the gap between two and one is large you know it, it is what it is but still i mean people are going to love malice they're going to compete this deck will get into the top tables and you never know just because it's second i mean once you start getting into the top table skill matters you know pilot matters and you know this deck could actually most likely will get far into the meta guys so you want to be ready as you can see it right here and look this is an example look we just talked about two cards and as we can see here um the extra deck card right here as you can see um is right here in every single extra deck malice extra deck and we're going to be talking about cards you know like gold sark we're going to be talking about allures and look at the abyssio package is pretty nice we're going to talk about dot scraper so again this is just one example this is not the end all be all list but at the same time it gives us an idea of what people are looking forward to from the ocg here we have lances which we would discuss today so i just wanted to give you guys a visual of what's to come second best deck you never know maybe in the tcg things you know 
uh, different cards are, are banned there than here. You never know, right? So you want to be ready, especially if you want to play Malice. You want to have most of these cards. So we have Firewall Dragon, guys. We talked about this card at 13s and before that in the single digit range. I still own my one copy. I have exposure of this ultimate rare. Why? OTS Tournament Pack 16 ulti. Look at that. It was sevens. That's why I picked just one up. Pick one just to have exposure. And now we V-shape recover off the lows to 13s. That's what the price was last time we talked about this card. And look. Look at it. With shipping, guys, this card is already 1550s around there. And quickly goes to 20s. Quickly. Just a couple of one ofs and then mid 20s and then gone. Two pages only. 18 listings right here. Down South is saying, and will say, because I'm saying it, guys, guys, you need to pick up, pick up this card right now, guys. This is free money. My one of, I'm cherishing it. I'm not selling that card until I see, you know, 20s, 30s and craziness because hype alone pushes prices, price cards up. This is a beautiful ultimate rare. Beautiful. From OTS Tournament Pack 16, definitely needed in my opinion. But let's hear from Down South. What do you think about Firewall Drag? Yeah, it's uh, cool to see this card get in the spotlight again. You know, it's kind of been a while for it. Um, I picked up a couple of these whenever they were down in that seven to eight dollar range, mm. um, just because I felt like you know it was it was too low for the card. Right, right. Um, it did get the the QC and the tens, which is what drove this down. Um, but I feel like you know twenty to twenty five is you know a reasonable target for the ultimate rate to get back up to. Yeah. Um, whether Easy. it'll hold there, I, I don't know. Easy money um, <laughs> for sure. But I mean, if you if you can get this in the teens still, then I would grab it. Yeah, yeah. Like 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 uh, down south said, you know, you see that twenty five thirties. Who knows? It might spike up beyond that. By that time, that's a good problem to have. To make sure we take profits up there. Down south itself has a couple of these. This is the last. Hey, get on the train, man. This won't. This card won't be in the teens for too long. And look, like down south said, what do you think about the penny stock version, the QCSR from last year's tins? What do you think about this penny stock? You know, I hadn't even looked at this one yet, but it's it's getting pretty low on listings already too for one of those ten promos. Um, down to fifty eight listings there. Um, I think this could easily hit twos, um, maybe even more. There we go. There we go. Look, card was seventy five. What sixty eight shekels not too long ago. Look at that massive volume spike over almost 600 copies uh, sold um, there once Malice was announced in early August. And ever since, hasn't looked back. It's still consolidating up here. This is a bullish pattern, as we can see here. Guys, this is this is so bullish, man. Th this chart is crazy. I mean, this is just um, a bull flag formation. If you measure the pole, it went from 68 cents all the way up to a billy 78. So that's what, like a dollar ten. So again, once this is done retracing, this will go a dollar ten up. So it would be what, like 260, 275. That's the expected target, just based off the charts. Men lie, women lie. The charts do not lie. Guys, get on the train. Don't be that guy. Seen this at a billy 17 with a massive wall of China. Coming back, paying 250s, 275s, or threes because you decided, you know, later on um, to, to play Malice and you're late. Don't do that. We're not, we're, we don't Billy Bob out here. Where's Billy Bob? Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Look at Thornton there down shot. Hey, we, we don't do that. We're not Thornton, man. What, what do you think about Billy Bob? What do you think about him down south, man? I need to ask you your opinion. Look at that. You know, Billy's going to be coming around three to fives. So what do you think about your boy Thornton, man? Let's hear it. I love the creation of the the Billy Bob meme. Um, it's it makes me giggle every time I get somebody coming to my shop and they buy a card way more than what they should be buying it for, and it's immediately what I think of every time. Let's go, then Billy Bob works, man. Love it, love it. If Billy Bob is in your brain, we're doing something right, man. But again, be early, like Down South said. Uh, said I uh, just said great card here at a billion some chain you know i'm thinking about picking a couple up man at a billy 17 you know I, I got i got like one i got a couple sealed i believe so that i got at shekels but a billy 17 is looking juicy man so again this card does have like other prints the og secrets from the mega 10 and stuff like that but honestly this is the way to go you either go with the qcsr or you go with the ot that we just mentioned um, so definitely keep this one on your radar. It does have a ghost rare too, doesn't it? Ooh, I almost forgot it. about yes, that. Yes, yes. Almost forgot about Good that. Good job, man. Down south, keeping it. Hey, a hundy. There we go. Love it, love it. Thanks for reminding us. Where is the man? Look at that. That's the thing with this um, with this search, right? Where is it? Where is it, man? Where is it? Let's see. Ghost rare. That's the thing. Like they should. When we search all of them, they should put the ghost. But I don't yeah, understand that. There I we don't go. Understand it. Jeez, so annoying. But look. I mean, it says 30s, but this thing is making moves. Down South did a great job there reminding us that the Ghost Rare, look at that, 40 bones right here. This is still not that um, expensive compared to what it could be. Um, so what do you think about the Ghost Rare? I think if I was grabbing a version and I wanted to play high rarity in my deck, this would be the one I would grab. 
Yeah, I mean, goals um, for it's the safest. Yeah. Whenever it starts to to trend back down in price, this is the one that's going to hold on the most. Um, so this would be the one I would buy if I was playing. Literally, literally, like down south just said, look at that. This card is a ghost rare from ghosts from the past. The ones that are relevant that are used, they're usually expensive. And it's from the first ghost from the past, so it's more scarce. Um, so this one can easily one day I would not be surprised to see it at triple digits as it continues to get more scarce and people realize, damn, you know, if the OT spikes up, 30s, 35s, 40s, then this is people are gonna be like, you know what, instead of paying that kind of money for that one, let me just grab the ghost rare ghost rare while I'm at it. So definitely keep it in mind then we have dust scraper this card is crazy only has what like four prints i see here um with tcg you never know they always hide the fifth and sixth prints <laughs> but <laughs> but here we have the ultra rare max rarity you have a star four rare that is uh getting cleaned out at, at, at over five bones and we have a couple of penny sunk here commons that's just budget if you really need access to the card but honestly you combine budget budget and max rarity here with the ghost from the past two again the second haunting these ghosts from the past cards are providing value back a lot of cybers reprints in there and look at this card same deal look at that early august malice announced went from shekels right there all the way up to still more shekels but as you can see from 16 cents to 47 that's a 3x move now it's been consolidating ever since i'm up here so look at that insane spike retracing exactly halfway down you can't make this stuff up look at it halfway down and then spiking back up so again if you need this card don't take these walls of china for granted oh jay there's 683 copies you know I'll come back later i'll pick up you know uh, this and that no, no no you come in now you pay a billy a bone a bean you come in here and you get you know play set for a little bit over a billy right there not bad at all 108 listings but after that wall then it continues going up to 50 cents and eventually this card could easily be a dollar love penny stonks like these um and let's hear um down south maybe talk about the effect of why people should be picking this card up so I feel like this one, this is definitely the rarity I would go for. Um, just like you said, it's not the most expensive rarity, but it's definitely the best one. Um, nobody likes those goofy starful, shatterful, mm -mm, whatever mm -mm, they are. Yeah, block of cheese. Um, <laughs> no, no, it's not block of cheese gold um, rarity, but it's certainly his cousin, man. I get it. I get oh, it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. I, I do think this card has some upwards potential. It is mm -hmm. limited, um, you know, since it's a once per duel effect. Mm -hmm. um, you only see people playing one of them um, in their deck, so it is a one of. Um, but it's a good card to have copies of in your binder um, if you're running a trade binder going to events and stuff like that um, it will be a card people are looking for and hopefully you can get some value out of it there we go yeah i mean again that shekels you can't hurt you know maybe grab a couple there you know um it's not bad at all it, it's probably nothing that would go too crazy like down south made an excellent point of being a one of so the demand will be lower than if it would be a play set but still just hype alone people knowing that they might need it for cybers and definitely one day push this card up you know from 36 cents um, to 75 cents an easy 2x or maybe even be over a billy one day so definitely keep it in mind then we have code of soul this was an amazing pick by down south i had never seen this card until he mentioned it in uh, one of our previous live streams um just a nice little tech card just in case as a super rare from legacy of, Destru of destruction i love you know lead cards no one's looking at them you know from a core set that is getting harder to get you know so it's not it's no longer you know the one before the latest that's when infinite infinite forbidden came out but now it's two two core sets behind so again hard to get this super rare look at it 17 cents just spiking up here recently all the way to 36 cents and again this is how it starts you know people don't know this card exists and then they wake up one day they're like yo i need this tech card and then it easily goes from a quarter to a billy you know and this is an easy 4x play right here and even if it doesn't reach a billy even if it goes to 50 cents still a 2x so again you see the walls here and the walls are actually at 30 cents so you come in here pay a billy get 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 a dollar and then get a play set of this and super rare just a beautiful penny stonk again with two to three x potential um so why would people need to be picking up this card down south what what does it do why is it a tech card uh let's hear it so i remember actually uh when this card came out um and i was just going through the new set and i read across it and i was like this this card's broken and i went ahead and i picked up my r09 mm. whenever legacy of destruction released mm. um just because you know i felt like it had potential um and i believe if i'm not mistaken in the early builds of malice nobody was on this card but here recently it started to pop up in some of the decks um i actually heard about it online and that's how i knew to bring it up in the stream the other day um, but it's it's a free special summon, free body. It's always good in a link deck. You don't care about none of the Salomon great effects, but then right. the banish it from the graveyard and being able to 
link summon on your opponent's turn you know that's that's a pretty broken effect <laughs> so, um i think this card definitely has potential i could easily see it hitting one maybe two dollars um and you know in some world maybe it'll go up higher than that but you yeah. know super rare it's hard to push the price up right 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 it is hard but still that's why it's all about multiples even if it's a 50 cent card you're already up 2x you're already living to fight another day again you know this is a uh, ip uh, mascarena for cybers decks right there you know it's broken <laughs> essentially i like the potential of this penny stunk so definitely uh you know one to add to your cart you have an extra couple of shekels laying around you add it to your cart add it to your um you know to your trade binder um and you won't regret it down the line and worst comes to worst then you know it, it was a quarter you know it was or 30 cents it was nothing too crazy um so i really like that one then we have balancer lord this card only two prints again you have a common at around 40 cents and then you have a super around the same price and again from mystic fighters guys a set that came out ages and ages and ages ago these cards don't take them for granted they're not as easy to get as they might seem yeah okay jay look at that 28 wall of china yeah but after that quickly goes up to 50 cents so this is a free 2x right here once these 28 are gone free 2x free right there and this has the potential to easily be a dollar guys so this has a free 2x right here with the potential of being a 4x down the line and this is just easy money when we say the game is too easy it just is as we can see max rarity balancer lord um so what do you think about this one this one's more of a, a speculatory one that I've actually ran across, and um, I don't think I've seen it see any or if much play at all. Okay. Um, but I've seen people talking about it, you know, in the circles, um, you know, in the Malice Facebook group. I saw some people talking about it. Okay. Um, and it's actually, it's it's just extra body. Um, it's just ways to get extra bodies on the field at different times. Um, and, you know, it's tech choice, you know. If it picks up, then this card's going to see a spike. If it trails off, then you have some copies of Balancer Lord. <laughs> <laughs> love it, love it, right? Just some spare brown, some spare cardboard <laughs> laying around. Why not? You know, we're addicted anyways. But yeah, I mean, that these are low risk plays. That's why I love penny stonks. Low risk in the sense, you know, if you put in a dollar into this, you know, maybe you get four of these, um, especially if you're playing Malice. Maybe, I don't know, as a tech is probably maybe a one of. You have your one and then three on the side. I mean, you just can't go wrong. You can't go wrong with this because about tech choices yeah they're not tried and true it's not like oh yeah everyone needs this for sure but things change you know a uh, uh, formats evolve you know they morph into different things you know a card that that people didn't need now they need it so just knowing this information or that potential that possibility again again these are penny stocks again put in a dollar you get three to four of these just put them in a bind an easy play set and if it ever spikes you'll be grateful that you got exposure and if it doesn't then you know you just throw it in the bulk um you know right there and there you never know when we get the next malice deck in a couple of years you know what i mean so this is definitely <laughs> um a, a good one so hey backup secretary again this card if you see it yeah it has quite a lot of prints but again same deal the max rarity version comes in ghost from the past guys the ultra rare right there you do have commons at shekels so you have plenty of budget options so in this case when you see a lot of commons and rares and really and really um you know readily available versions you come in for the max rarity you come in for the max rarity for this card as you can see here the chart looks broken let's just clean this up janitor style and as we can see here look at that quarters quarters you can see the chart right there from 20 cents jumping up to sales at even 33 cents um so again right here you have a couple of one ofs at around you know quarters and then you have a couple at 30 cents so right now the same deal the last three cards we've mentioned all you need is a buck a billy a bone to get a place in. that's it that's it yeah, we've been talking about these three penny stocks that's three dollars add tax to it but you guys get it i mean it's easy money down the line you take at the end of this you're gonna take five dollars put it in here and you never know you never know man these cards are penny stocks um and this is the ultra rare this is the max rarity um and and look if you read the effect you can special summon this card from your hand just by controlling a cyber so why why should people be picking this one up now so um this one's very similar to the last one um it's honestly a little bit better because you don't have to pay life points to bring it out mm. um malice is a deck that already pays excuse me a bunch of life points mm -hmm. um so i feel like that deck might struggle in time over here mm -hmm. in the tcg um they're gonna have to end games quickly um and not not waste a bunch of time mm -hmm. um so being able to use this and not have to pay life points to get that extra body out i think is a huge advantage over balancer lord 
Um, but it's just another one of those, another one of those. You throw, throw a dollar at it, get a couple of them, and see what happens. I mean, you can't couldn't have said it any better. I mean, this is this is what I love investing. You know, people talk about uh, you know high end staples and and what, what I call heavy stonking. You know, in the in the live <laughs> stream. You know, shout out to Andrew. That's my guy. You know, I, I love investors like that though. I love their perspective, and I love that Andrew's everywhere. He heavy stonks. He penny stonks. Um, so I always love when he's talking about his heavy stonk plays. Uh, Jay, check this starlight and check this OT and check that. I love it. But, you know, I personally, I just love penny stocks, man. I love, you know, having cards at, at quarters become billies and then from billies become double digits and go crazy. I mean, that doesn't mean that every single penny stock you buy is going to go crazy. That's not the point. The point is to get exposure. We're not telling you to get necessarily um r09s multiple stacks of these and and buy the dozens and stuff no we're saying you take one dollars one billy one bean one bone and you gotta place it and that's it that's like the perfect minimum exposure for these tech choices you know now if there are more staples inside the deck like we'll be discussing then that's different but for these tech choices just got exposure man you just never know you never know you want to be early then we have emp meow mine the qcsr is around 30s we're gonna check that right now and then we're gonna go to the more budget options so again uh, qcsr is dumping down from 30s it says to 27s but right now stabilize you have eight here um and stabilizing again you got multiple play sets at around the 30 level so that's good three pages only 28 listings if you need this card play set for a hundy right now you know not bad for a quarter century from phantom nightmare definitely excuse me has potential of becoming more money down the line wouldn't be surprised to see this at 40 to 50s in the short term the closer that we get uh, to malice but here we have the ultra the ultra meow mine from uh phantom nightmare look at that was a billion some change spiked up after the malice announcement and has always remained up here as we can see and uh yeah you have a couple of deals here but it quickly goes up to 250s and beyond so meow mine since it came out sage said to pick a couple of these up that this one could age well right now it's been consolidating with a couple of spikes here and there um, but what do you think about me on mine? I read the effect once. I was like, damn, this has potential. But why should people have this on their radar? Yeah, exactly. This card has potential and it's had potential since it came out. I feel like it's just been kind of waiting for its chance, waiting for right. the right deck to use it. Right. Um, and I feel like this is the perfect opportunity for it. If it's going to do anything, it's going to be now. Um, this is one of those tech choicey cards that gets you an extra body. It also does a couple extra things. It uh, bounces a card um, with its... Um, I believe it's no it's not a quick effect um but you can bounce a card to the hand um so it's a little bit more versatile than some of the other extra body cards that we just went over um and it has ip in the artwork so what's not to love about it <laughs> yeah for sure for sure i mean it's it has everything it has the perfect combination um to take over a format um and balancing is like i always say Bouncing in Yu-Gi-Oh! is just broken. When you got cards like Sky Crisis in the past, Kieran, um, you know, compulsory evacuation device, Yu-Gi Boomer status. You know, I'm a Yu-Gi Boomer, guys. You know, way back in the day. Again, bouncing in Yu-Gi-Oh! has always been broken. So don't take this for granted. And you know, in in a in a link format, you know, it'll be more like an Xyz format, but links will be a close second right there. So definitely one that uh you know at around twos, twos and some change could age well. I wouldn't be surprised to see this at fives and beyond down the line for an ultra rare that shouldn't technically get reprinted anytime soon so it should be a relatively safe investment even though with a uh, konami you just never know anymore we have imperial uh imperial iron wall this one has what one two three four five six prints again a couple of commons a couple of rares and you start going to the holographics i'm um, here the supers pushing around fives but the ultra rare max rarity here again this is one that i personally you know like to speculate or to believe that could come and bonanza you know it's more on the fence no one knows right but you know it's a card that is broken it's still one of the remaining the last remaining um core floodgates you know like tikaboo and and um you know the other ones the, the goes in and you know and the other one and the other one you know there's like three or four skill drain out of one so again this is one that is still um at three so again it is broken again look at that cards cannot be banished plain and simple plain and simple you know this deck wrecks uh, malice again as a floodgate so again you see a play set there if this card doesn't come in bonanza this will turn out to be a great investment um because i would not be surprised to see this ultra rare at double digits so again right now again we're playing the gab zone like most in most market watches i've been saying these next two weeks are extremely important because 
we're going to get information that will not just impact the cards coming inside, but the ones that didn't. And that's the key. So for this one, if you need it to play, you want to play it on the safe side. These prices are not bad under fours, um, you know, almost pushing fives at the bottom of the page. But it's a broken card. What do you have to say about this one? You word for word hit on what I was going to say. You know, um, I feel like this is a good candidate for Bonanza. Um, they've always put some of the floodgates in the past rarity collection sets Great that we've point. got. Great point. Um, and I feel like this could be there. Um, it's what's kept me away from picking up copies of this. Um, this is one of those counterplays that could see side deck play. Um, there are a couple other cards that do similar things. There's, you know, Chaos Hunter. Um, which has already seen spikes, um, and then um, Lancia, of course, which you've, I know you've covered a couple of times this week. Um, mm -hmm. So it just depends on uh, which route people want to go. I feel like some decks will go the Iron Wall way, um, but I feel like most decks are kind of going to lean in towards Lancia a little bit harder. Um, but this card has great potential to, to go up. Exactly, yeah. I mean, we're just going to briefly touch on Chaos Hunter just, like, just to see an update, just like uh, Down South mentioned, and again, here we have a couple of rares honestly just pick up the rares man just play it on the safe side and just like a couple of cards we already discussed today if you don't see it there like sign it mining this then you make that big boy move towards the max rarity but if it's in there then you're you were on the safe side you're happy you didn't you know dig into the higher rarity place and you saved that hard-earned cash and again chaos hunter look at that when you go to the best selling people like their first at ogs but again you have clean secret rares as shekels you know the quarter centuries reached double digits now retracing back a little bit to the mean so if you want it look platinum secret rare as shekels man this is the play right here people taking these for granted you can see the volume coming in so again this could easily be multiple billies down the line so like down south just said and we'll touch base on lancia in a little bit pick up these tech choices not just for malice that we're talking about like the firewalls and the links and this and that but also against the deck especially if you won't be playing um the deck then we have firewall defensor this is one that i actually sneaked in here because again by the way all credit goes to down south essentially essentially every card that we're talking about it you know this one i just added it just because but most of the cards if not almost all um it was all down south's credit he made the full list of cards that you should be paying attention to heading into malice not just cards again to pick up if you're playing the deck but also to pick up to go against the deck that is the value of this market watch and again you might be jay i don't care about malice i'm not playing the deck and if i play against it i'm gonna be playing the meta so this and that yeah but there's value you can make money with these cards that's the whole point you know you can buy low sell high and that's why we're all here for to make that money so um let's get to it so this one um i sneaked in here uh, down south because i wanted your opinion on firewall defensor from Sayak. to my knowledge um i don't think it has it was reprinted um in uh the tins because i don't see a view of uh, you, you need to correct let me let me see was, was it, it, reprinted? it dodged it dodged it did okay. not get one okay so there we go he confirmed this card dodged um the tint so it came in Sayak. it's an ultra rare if you go to the yearly chart this card was 358s in the past then it went down to a billy essentially down here and then even into the shekels now re-spiking back up double topping a little bit retracing back down to the mean before that next leg up in my belief so again this card is cybers um we're gonna let down south touch base here a little bit on the card uh to his surprise i wanted his opinion on this right here and again you see a couple of places but they're pushing 350s and eventually fours um and then eventually fives five pages only 45 listings um so again a single print from sayak from a core set that now is years old and that didn't get reprinted in the tents so what do you think about this card i think this is a great great pick you, you snuck in here on me um i kind of forgot about this card Love um i was watching it um whenever the tens came out because mm -hmm. i was very surprised that it missed mm -hmm. um whenever cyberstorm access first came out i remember this card getting up to seven eight ten dollars there in the first month yeah, or so. it was crazy um so i was i was surprised that they didn't cash in on that and and give us this in the tens for sure um but i right now where you have it pulled up i feel like that's a, a great price to get in on this card if you do want to get some copies of it um because the chart doesn't capture it all but after the tens and people started to realize that it wasn't in there um i did see listings of this you know up to the, the six dollar range Ooh. already so it has potential it's retracing right now there we go there we go there's the opportunity again cards like these you never know if not if they sneak in um to to a cut a malice top you know cut deck they sneak this in they tank this in you know this card was broken when it came out it spiked up never really panned out but again these cypress cards that's what you want you want cards that no one's looking at 
cards that people forgot about cards that people forgot that they were single print you come in here and this three dollar card could easily become five billies conservatively even seven fifties down the line and in a crazy world double digits like it did when it first uh, came out then we have lancia we just touched base on lancia so not going to talk too much about this card down south already mentioned it as an option again Yu-Gi-Oh players love their hand traps yeah there could be floodgates there could be other way to deal with things but Yu-Gi-Oh players love hand traps especially like lancia droll you know hand traps you, you slap it on the table and you're safe for the turn you know what i mean they love that feeling so again like down south just said um pick up your lancias we've been talking about this card non-stop it feels like i talk about it at least once a week at this point and again purs at shekels you know a pcr is at around a billy um platinum secrets beautiful at around a billy again you have the quarter centuries yes like down south said i recently talked about this one spiking up to you know high 20s almost into 30s and we were talking about this card in the teens you know so it's almost giving that 2x hey jay I'm, i just want a clean secret rare. look at it right there 54 cents so again like down south just mentioned pick up your lancias you know we've been talking about this card as well pick up the hand trap i don't know if there's any anything else you want to touch base on this card other than what you just recently said no that pretty much sums it up um if you wanted the quarter century you're late uh, <laughs> but maybe it retraces maybe you get another chance but um, yeah. unless you're wanting to pay for it then i would just i would grab secrets or or some of the purs pcrs myself right 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 yeah yeah that's the good thing like i've always been saying um with um the rarity collection what i love if you miss a buyout like the second option feels just as good as the first even though it's not tech you know everyone wants the quarter century we understand but me let's say you missed out the third the move to 30s for quarter centuries you have a platinum secret at a dollar man like it's just yes yeah, that doesn't look like the quarter century but hey the price doesn't also look like the quarter century so you know <laughs> i love uh, to see cards like these um and look at that look at that card is a billy today a couple of one ofs and then at the bottom of the page is a billy 50. people take these moves for granted take these moves that's a 50 percent move and look all you see are one ofs man if you want a place you're gonna probably have to pay two to threes don't be that guy if you can sneak any of these in your cart do it now but if not pick your purs pcrs all the p's and all the r's make sure you get the proper um exposure then we have dominance impulse again we just talked about this card yesterday so i'm not going to be talking about it too much we're going to give the stage to down south to say why this deck needs to i'm sorry why this card needs to be picked up keeping malice in mind v-shape recovering here pushing 85s can easily be a triple digit card just like we mentioned yesterday but let's see what uh down south needs to say about this one so i think this card is it's definitely going to hit a hundred dollars mm. um and i know people hate to hear that but i think it's going there there's a lot of decks that are starting to play it now it's already picking up in the meta um and it fits perfectly into malice um they don't care about the light earth wind restriction um there's a couple light tech choices here and there but other than that unless you're playing certain hand traps the earth and wind doesn't matter um the deck's basically all darks so you're going to be able to use this card free will however you want to and it's pretty good against Razio. there we go there we go i mean it's a, it's a, it's in the meta for a reason it's going to continue to work even into the next format so again i mean yeah uh, this is expensive compared to previous prices but it could be cheaper compared to more expensive prices in the short term this is the next imp imprint man everyone needs it it's broken um and uh it's becoming a meta staple in most uh, decks so definitely uh keep it in mind here at the halftime show look at it right there look at it look at that we showed it at 83s you come over here see if any of these deals are still available at whatnot link in the description down below come over here and spend your 15 dollars off not 15 percent 15 dollars off over here to get broken cards like these don't be that guy that misses out you need for wallows we got you over here and whatnot as well right there 15 dollars off don't miss out and yeah any any other rota cards you need i'm um, right here you swing by even quarter centuries anything you need tokens singles you name it accessories whatnot is the spot to be um and then we have 10 cards again people are starting to forget about the tins already because everyone's looking forward to bonanza um but there's just so much future value in here just like down south's penny stock man um today um so definitely um one to keep in mind if you want to take advantage of this and then we got the billy bobs man we recently got a sale on billy bob the person even reached out you know via messages man the you community is just amazing man he said thanks for the con uh, for the um content as always he's, he's like i can't wait until i slap one of these for a nip token yes i was dying i was laughing so 
yeah, I mean, if you want any of these, take advantage of this. You can also use um, the discount. And then the Discord, man. Down South is a relevant member of our Discord. You know, he's one of the moderators. He's in there with Sage and Chris and all the, you know, all the boys, you know. So, hey, if you want to meet Down South, he's famous now. He's on the channel now, guys. You're going to make sure you're in the Discord right here and take advantage of the five-minute read right there, Investment Guide. Um, if you want to stop losing your hard-earned money, did you ever catch this one down south, mate? The investment guide. Any any words? You know? Oh yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. What the do you thing think is, about it? it it sums everything up perfectly, especially for new investors. If you're getting into this and you're you're wondering what an RO9 is, because that was me. Um, whenever I found your channel, I was like, awesome, what is he talking awesome. about? Awesome, awesome. Um, and it was some of the the policies that you know I was already doing in my buying strategies, but it definitely helps streamline the thought processes um and i definitely recommend that that guide to anybody who's interested in buying cards wow wow that feedback is amazing i appreciate it brother wow yeah i mean that was the goal it's not that i invented anything here i took what already existed and just made it better in my humble opinion so don't miss out five minute read stop losing your hard earned money man stop billy bobbing out here so again swing by the discord over 600 people in there you do not want to miss out and recently on x you know a couple of you guys followed me you know some people don't have x you know other people do but i'm just trying to grow so we're almost cracking 300 you know saw some people follow i really appreciate it if that was you and if not what are you waiting for man just swing by show some love one click follow we're just trying to grow over there on the platform so that we can continue to positively impact people's lives and again guys we're going to be doing giveaways guys at 6.5k little by little we will reach that level you know so again if you want access to a tin um you know and, and tcg player gift cards you want to make sure um that you get exposure by subscribe that's all you got to do just subscribe ring that bell be ready for our giveaway that is coming down the line very very soon you don't want to be that guy that misses out and again none of this content is official financial advice guys is for entertainment purposes only so let's dig in guys here we have gold Sark. we continue now with some spells we talked about a million monsters and now you know we're here into just a couple of spells that you need to keep in mind if we go all the way back to the deck list here we see double and they only have it at twos over there we see um gold Sark over here is this still at three down south i think right here in the tcg it's at uh one in the tcg oh my um, I god think, i think Jesus we are gonna Christ. follow suit and i think this card is gonna go even more bonkers oh my god is that one thanks for clarifying that i don't know in my brain i feel like i played multiples of these when i played dino um with giant rex but i guess i was wrong um but yeah <laughs> hey again it's at one guys but you need your one of again just recently got the quarter century and the purs and the p all the p's and all the r's so you have a lot of choices but again look at it clean secrets for shekels right there you want to make sure you get access to this card what where's the, the the quarter century should be around here i mean there's a million pages so let's just go from high to low so again look at it look at it where is it where is it? oh my goodness look at tcg look at this wonderful search from tcg man they need to contact google we look for gold sark and we get thunder dragon dark i mean that's pretty close right <laughs> jesus christ but here we have the quarter century we touched base recently on it when it was single digits and let's just see here um if it's still there look at it officially cracking the double digit range this will be 15s in the short term with the potential to become 20 bones just like um was it a clip no it was you talked about eclipse i think so right yeah it was book of eclipse yeah yeah so, about. so just like eclipse that down south mentioned in one of the live streams um just like ultimate slayer that i mentioned at five dollars uh just like uh xyz encore that was at three bones again these spells are broken um and the ones that i mentioned not necessarily in madness but this one is so you want to be early why should be people people uh be picking up uh this card um i feel like the quarter century is definitely the one to pick up um, I feel like it's at a great, great price. Um, like you said, it's going to be 15s with the Malice push. Um, and then it's only upwards from there if the TCG gives it back to us at, at two, um, which I think is a possibility. Um, it's hard to say. I never expected this card coming back up to two in the OCG either. So, um, But if it does, this card is going to be money. Literally, literally. We could see the lows were at around seven eights. Now we're double digits. I expect look, this is just a little consolidation right here before that next leg up status. You don't want to be paying 15s and beyond for this quarter century secret rare. This is the time that you pick this one up um before the malice hat pushes malice hype pushes it up even further. And or next balance, you know, might might you know help malice out as well. So that's the thing. Cause we're 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 analyzing this, you know, and the OCG and stuff. But you never know. They're they're two different worlds. There's Maxi over there here. There's not just so many different things, but also the balance. The balance might be like, you know what? Let's give Malice Gold Sarks. Make it more consistent. And then all of a sudden it eats more into this pie. So that's the whole point of this market watch and the point of being ready by picking these cards up 
early. Then we have Allure of Darkness. This is another one that we've been speculating that can be um, in Bonanza. This is one, again, iconic cards like these. To me, there's no way it skips Bonanza. Like, Allure has been iconic since it came out, even in Time Wizard formats. Uh, you know, the card is just broken. Um, it's a draw card. People, you know, Yu-Gi-Oh! players always love their draw cards. And then you draw and banish, which Malice already does, and they're dark. This works wonders inside the deck. Um, as you can see here when we showed the deck list, triple alerts. There's just no way around it. You get the draw power and the banish to plus off of that. Um, so again, of course, um, there was a secret rare speed duel around there that I love right here. Um, that spiked up after the Malice um announcement. And then uh, uh, the other Ultras and Supers are around there at around Billy's. Again, because everyone's waiting. Everyone's waiting for this card to come um, in uh, Bonanza. Um, so what do you have to say about this one? Yeah, once again, spot on. Um, I think this card is coming in Bonanza. Um, it needs it. Um, every time it gets reprinted, it turns into a money card. Um, even the Ultras from Brothers of Legend, it's seen time up in the $2 range. Um, and then that speed duel secret rare there you got pulled up is is money as well. I believe that's the only secret printing of this card. I believe so. Um, so, so this card is is iconic. It's been in the game for a long time, and it's always seen play. Um, I think it's still seeing current play in branded decks and stuff like that. Um, so there's demand for it, um, and just give us a quarter century Konami. There we drive go. That, <laughs> drive that ulti price down so I can get it. There we go. That's all. <laughs> that's why he cares about uh, the QCSR. It's not to get it, but to drive the ulti price down. Look at this uh, beautiful parabolic curve um, on uh, the Brothers of Legend one. Um, me, I, have, I still have a stack of these that I got for shekels. Um, you know, I've been moving them sporadically, you know, trading them. But, um, you know, just everyone's waiting for bonanza so i try and move in before them we'll see but look you have a play set there the next play set are like 166s so nothing too crazy but this card was shekels forever and you can see the demand coming in just people getting access to this card as a budget option that looks beautiful and uh yeah even for past formats as well so um excuse me i believe this one um will um actually get reprinted in bonanza so let's see um it's on speculation but let's see how that one plays out then we have d fisher d fisher again continuing a down south list you know we have d fisher here again this is just another one that i look at it and i'm like i wouldn't be surprised if it comes in bonanza honestly because it's just an iconic spell and it is broken and imagine this pur you're touching you know that um right there just uh you know feeling the card purs are amazing man they're awesome um so again um i wouldn't be surprised if it does come in there i bought the the ultras at 50 cents you know over a year and a half ago we talked about this card when it came out on the channel um it was our, one of our early picks um right there when uh, uh monsters revenge came out and the card has just always been broken man always been broken and like we've been discussing today most of these cards are just on the sidelines waiting waiting to see if they get reprinted in bonanza so what do you think about uh d fisher Yep, and this is another one. Um, I love the the Dusa print there. Um, a lot of people are a lot of people are torn on the fooling on those. No, I love. Um, but I, but I like them. <laughs> yes. Um, but I, I feel like this card is a card that could see play in Malice. Um, it has in some decks. Um, just being able to to banish everything and be able to get those revive effects. Um, and then plus usually this hurts your opponent on top of that. Um, so this is just a double sided good card for the deck. Um, the the two secret rare prints from legendary collection gx and raw mellow raw yellow pack mm -hmm, i believe mm -hmm. um both of those versions look gorgeous they um do. They do. just just something about that era of secret rares <sighs> um but if if this comes in in bonanza it's going to kind of kill that value right right um but it's just a waiting game we're only a couple weeks away yeah yeah like like uh down south said and i've been saying on the marker watches just two two and a half weeks away you know honestly this is not bad compared to quickly going you know out of stock <laughs> essentially here you know r09 is at 24s compared to nine so that's almost a 3x right there but again i mean if it this gets reprinted in bonanza these secrets will be sub five billies um probably two to threes max maybe even below that so again not, not even the dusa i love dusa um and again this is a deal compared to future prices but we just don't know right now bonanza is going to be such an important set um so honestly if i need the card right now I just, eh, I mean, even, even, it's even the commons, I mean, they're pushing twos here. So I guess you get, yeah, I mean, I'd wait, honestly, just not play the card for the next two <laughs> weeks, um, but that's just me. And the good thing about Bonanza is that it's going to be coming out before um, we get Malice, before we get Rising, before we get all these, 
decks that would change and impact the meta so you'll be able to know um okay it came out here didn't get reprinted or what should i do you know before that format actually comes to us so this is cybers uh these man these of worm man i'm gonna just leave it at that this is the card that um uh down south was mentioning early early in the market watch saying that i believe this is the one that you can send off uh a terahertz if i'm not mistaken um so again again just hey you sell this look at it look at that banish from the field the graveyard negate that activation right here when your opponent activates a spell or trap card or effect so that's a negate broken while you can control a link for um or higher cybers right there banish from grave negate that's broken man a banish from grave that's insane so again like like down south said you dump this off a uh, uh, terahertz and uh this is an omni negate from the grave four spell and traps just a uh, broken right there uh yeah so psh, the literal definition of a penny stock right there right there <laughs> uh, under under a dime man what do you think about this from down south <laughs> Um, I just, the combo is just too good with this card. I mean, you send it, you get the free negate. Um, it stops a ton of broken cards. You can stop Dominus Impulse with this card. Um, <laughs> but um, I was I was selling the commons of this card for twenty cents um, whenever I had Cyberstorm access bulk. So the the ultra can easily get up in that range. Um, hopefully the fifty cent range because I picked up a nice little stack of them. There we go. There we go. Hey, down south is ready, guys. Down south is ready with the literal penny stocks, man. My favorite. You come in here, you only have a couple at eight cents, and then it quickly goes to eighteen, and after that they hit quarters almost. So again, again, this is one that easily could be 50 cents easily guys i i purchased one because uh direct only let me purchase one at eight cent so hopefully that one ages well might pick up a couple even though it's up here just to get more exposure but um yeah this is the ultra rare max rarity that came in the tins if it wasn't for down south i had no idea this card existed and the potential is just too great these are the ultra rares that they sneak in the tins their max rarity but no one's paying attention to and then uh everyone uh you know wakes up one day they're like yo i need that fusion man was it that down south kid that was talking about that in jay's channel she i should have listened to him and then you know they're the ones paying 50 cents and giving their hard-earned cash they're billy bobbing um and uh, you know and down south is selling to them and down south is definitely living to fight another day so great pick brother great pick on this one definitely one to keep on your radar then we have aggregator honestly this one's self-explanatory I mean there's not too much to say down south already said that you send this you know um to the grave and get the effect earlier in the market watch and then rise you as well so this is a card that's going to be throw thrown around from the extra deck to the graveyard during that format by you know multiple decks as we can see now so again i just think this card may be receiving a reprint um before the format but maybe not if it doesn't it's definitely a good one to leave from um, a maze of master or whatever the name is i think that's the correct name the new maze set that is coming out early next year i think this would be a perfect candidate to that if it doesn't come in bonanza but if it doesn't come in bonanza then that means that people don't want to wait until the next reprint people are going to need the card now and as a super rare single print from darkwing blast again the card was shekels card was shekels no one knew about it cared about it card was trash and then now literally the parabolic move insane to threes retrace that retracing back down to the mean with a couple of deals at twos um but uh again you see walls at around 250s post tax but this card is broken so again not really gonna ask down south on this one because he already expressed his opinion on this one and this really self-explanatory if you need it me i have i think i i got one i traded for one and then i had one without noticing it so i think i have like one or two copies i'm glad i have it just for you know if i build decide to eventually build risio i already have the card but if you don't have it i'd come in here man just get at least one two maybe get a five dollar order order two of these one for you one to move and then you definitely uh, live to fight another day then we have access code talker i'm not even going to talk about this one first i'm gonna let down south take over this one why should be people be picking up this broken card i mean dark cybers <laughs> that's that's really all you need to know um <laughs> it banishes from the grave to to get its effects to pop Broke. stuff you banish from alice monster you bring it back bro um it's just it's made for this deck or this deck is made for it <laughs> right, one or the other. Right, right. um but if you look at the starlight rare it's at its all-time yeah, low right here you got secret rares for a dollar and some change um it's just it's criminal how cheap this card is right now there we go there we go yeah it's like i i discussed this card uh, probably last week or I, I mean I do so many market watches right but I when I discuss this card 
I said, we went to the chart and I said, people forgot that this card was, and here it says 330s, but before, like over a year ago, this kept going on up like this. Like this card, if I'm not mistaken, my brain is telling me it was like four, five hundred, six hundred at one point. If I'm like not mistaken. 400. Yeah, yeah, there we go. I knew it wasn't just $300. <laughs> this was up there in the 400s, four hundred, five hundred, five hundred 500, 500 right around there. Look at that. A hundo right there. This is a 5x waiting to happen. Nah, I mean, do I think this card is going to reach necessarily four or $500? Eh, I mean, that's a stretch. But, but, but yeah, we do have an alternative quarter century. Some people just prefer to go budget and do it that way. But this card is super scarce. This card used to be money before it started getting reprinted in the lower rarities. And this is it. If you want to play the max rarity, the highest rarity of them all in Yu Gi Oh! is considered to be the Starlight Rares, just based off scarcity. So, like Down South said, a hundy, this is a steal for a Starlight. 21 listings only. Don't be that guy coming in paying a premium down the line for this version. Now, again, you have a $25 one. Honestly, me, I'd just pay the extra $75 and get the Starlight. That's just me. But at the same time, it is 4X lower. Some people on a budget, they prefer to get this one and then the rest of the money spent, you know, getting other staples and things they need. Both ways are right. But at the end of the day, this is easy money down the line. You're seeing the spike here. Um, you know, as of late, people getting ready at around 25 bones. Don't let this be the 30s, 40s, 50s down the line. People were paying for the OGs before the reprints, 40, 50s and 60 bucks. Don't be that guy that forgets to pick up this one. And like Down South said, I mean, you have budget options. Jay, I don't have that kind of money. I don't. You have clean seeker rares at two billies, under two billies. You have PURs at under twos. You have PCRs at under two. So again, um, just make sure you, and look, platinum secrets at around three to four, sub five billies. Beautiful, beautiful to see this um, with this card. And then look, you even have the OGs. I mean, some people like the OGs. Honestly, I wouldn't be that guy paying. What is this? This is crazy, man. Let me clean this up. Janitor style. Look at it. Look at it. That's what, 19, six, this is $8? Look at this OG, man, making moves. What do you what do you think about that uh, downside? Look, it, we got the OG right here, and then when you click view all versions, you have PURs, PCRs. Let me, let me just look this up like this again, my bad. <laughs> you have like all these other alternatives. Are you that guy that believes in, there's nothing wrong with it, that, oh, first ad OG, you know, it just feels original and I love the feeling, or, you know, you don't mind any of these other uh, alternatives uh, here beautiful rarities what's your take on that i've never i, I understand the hype on first at og i do okay. um, and okay. i do believe that that card is going to regain value i mm. think it'll it'll go back into the do double digits okay, okay. Um, especially right. especially with malice going around right now all right um but personally you know i'll just grab the secret from from the rarity collection it's it's basically the same card exactly um, okay um and if you scroll down and you look at this one it's this one isn't far from being five dollars um the the walls on this card are way down there yeah as you can see i mean there's one of there's a place set here but listings are going lower um and like down south said i wouldn't be surprised to see this secret rare the one from um the rarity collection at multiple billies that you know higher from here maybe a three four five dollar card uh down the line so definitely uh, keep this one up and if you have the og you know hey hey you pretty soon you're gonna have money i mean but it's crazy to, this is it these are the buy signals if you see this craziness happen with the og already then you know it's a matter of time that the qcsr and the other rarities start making moves then here we have which one oh look is access code starlight right now nah, just kidding bro there here we have splash <laughs> mage here from ghost from the past the ultra rare max rarity here is around three bones and then you have a common uh, for 50 cents two quarters a pop so again let's start with the budget the most budget option here a comment from eternity code um if you go to the yearly chart you see that the card was eh, 33 shekels spiking up here it says to 50 cents but you see the walls of china are providing opportunities again and you can see these people are competing down here but after that it quickly goes up you know to, to like 50 cents so again this is for the common if you just need the card i wouldn't be sitting waiting around i would just come in and get my copy but again, the max rarity version right here. Beautiful from Ghost from the Past. Who knows when or if this gets reprinted again. And um, excuse me again. Here we see. Look at that. Card was a bone. Spiking up to almost $5, man. The 450s. Now, clean retracement. Back down to the main here. Very healthy. That's what you want to see. Just a healthy retracement. And again, me. If I'd be playing Malice, I'd be picking this card up now. Not every card is going to get reprinted in Bonanza. So that means that if a card like this would get a reprint, a lot of people think it might not because it's still, you know, it's just it already has two prints. Might be in maze or further into 2025. So again, 
this is one that if i'd be playing the deck i'd be picking up this ultra rare right now at, at around threes and again look at that one ofs man one ofs right here and then eventually the card pushes almost four to five so what do you think about this one i think this is one that's that's worth it it's low enough it's worth the risk that if it does come in bonanza or something like that you're not getting eaten up by losing that value i mean it's a two to three dollar card um but you you have potential that if it doesn't come there then you have a card that's money um every time a cyburst deck pops up this this card is there um so it, it's going to be in the deck it's going to go up in price um it just depends on on where that reprint does come if it does get one there we go great assessment great great assessment um like always throughout this market watch guys um, so there you go. Then we have Transcode Talk. I can't believe this card only has two prints. It's a rare. Thank God it's a rare. Um, and not, you know, the block of cheese rarity for maximum gold. Um, and then you have the ultra rare max rarity here. It says that ability and some change. So let's start again with the pen the true penny stonk here, the rare. As you can see, this rare, people considered it bulk. No one cared about it, and now it's spiking up. Um, you know, the massive walls of China are essentially at 50 cents post tax with almost a thousand copies. That is crazy. Um, but yeah, this is one, you know, it's like Maybe you come in if you really need it, need exposure, you're picking up the pieces on a budget, you come here. But honestly, the one that I'd be picking up here, let me just clean this up here real quick. Janitor style right there. Look at that, this one. Add a bone and some change. You have walls at twos. I'd prefer any day of the week to come in here and pay two bones for the max rarity card, a version of this card, than paying, you know, almost 50 cents for a common. So I'd prefer, I'd pay the 4X. In this case, it's still cheap at around twos, but the card is broken. It's always been part of of you know uh the different cybers deck uh throughout history um so what do you think what do you think about this one yeah i think this one is is fairly safe from a reprint as well i mean it does need one but the copies that it has out there are fairly cheap so exactly. i don't think i don't think it's high on their list of things to pop into a set for reprints um and it's just one of those those good generic cybers generic four cybers cards for the extra deck that allows you to do a lot of cool things um you can bring your link three cyber monsters back from the graveyard so if some of your malice um links end up in the graveyard you can bring them back um so there's there's use in the deck for it it just depends on if people are going to play it or not there we go so again it's a great you know a risk to take in the sense that it's not going to break your wallet and you get exposure right now before the masses start coming in then we have link decoder now this one has massive supply here um but it's still spike here says from 16 cents all the way up to 37 again the walls are still down here but that means that billy bob has been coming in and buying at the 37 shackle range so again if you need this card look at that right there 16 cents on the low right there um it, it goes all the way up to quarters so again um penny stock here link decoder um is what one level four lower cybers monster so it's a great link one um right there so why do you think people should be picking this one up uh down south this is just a, a link climbing body. It's just a, a level one you can go into, um, to, you know, go ahead and get your combo started and go ahead and start getting into some other other link plays. Um, that's really all it does. Um, I don't expect it to be big money. Right. Like you said, there's there's tons of listings here. <laughs> yeah. um, but it's just a, a card to keep your eye on. If you need it, go ahead and get a copy. Um, I wouldn't go in too hard on this one otherwise there. Right, right, right. And like, and like, I mean, what impresses me with a card like this, a card like this with such supply, even though it's back down here to these prices, is that the chart is reflecting that there's been buy pressure up here. So that's what impresses me. You know, that Billy Bob's are coming in and they're um, willing to pay 50 cents, you know, for a card that is uh, 19 cents here in the 20s, 40s here. So again, that, that just gives you a sign of people needing the card so it'll have demand yeah nothing to go too crazy about but definitely one to keep on your radar and then the last card here ling garibo a card everyone forgot about super rares or quarters right here and then the ultra the og is a dollar fifty i really like these prices man these are not bad for a card um that uh yeah i mean link Karibo got banned so now you know ling garibo um it's it's really nice for cybers that guy so don't sleep on it here look at that super cheap with over a thousand copies at under a quarter for the super and then the ultra as we can see here at a, a billing and some change but a lot of one ofs man multiples are over threes essentially so what do you think about this card we already saw this card's brother link <laughs> get um abused in the snake eyes deck right. um and get banned for it um and i think this card is going to be equally as good um it's kind of just the better version of the last card we looked at link decoder 
Um, you just link off, you get Malice Monster to the grave, you can banish it with Abyss Deal or whatever other means you have. Um, bring it back, then you got a free link too. Um, so that's what they're using this card for, is just to climb up. Um, and I think this is definitely the better option out of the link ones for the deck. Um, so I think this this Ultra in particular has potential to, to go pretty high. There we go. I mean, Down South couldn't have said it any better, guys. Um, yeah, this is one that I'd be keeping on the radar, especially only two prints. They're both holographics, but the max rarity is nothing too crazy yet. But this could definitely be a $5 card down the line. Um, so yeah, Down South here towards the um, latter part of the market watch. Should have asked you this at the beginning. Totally forgot, but here we are. So we just want to know why why you love Yu-Gi-Oh, how you came into Yu-Gi-Oh. Let's just hear a little bit about your story before we get on out of here. <laughs> Yeah, man, I've been I've been around Yu-Gi-Oh for ever. It feels like you know I, I've took some breaks. I was away for quite a while. Um, I started playing, you know, in school with friends like everybody else did. Awesome. Um, back around two thousand three, two thousand four. Wow. Um, so back back at the beginning, um, and then I I didn't really play too much into to Edison or anything like that. I think it was same. It was here. before before the Edison times, but when I fell off. Right. Same. Um, here, same here. But it's just it's just something that always comes back. You know, I've bought back into cards many times over the years and Billy Bobbed and sold them all. <laughs> Let's a, go. At a bulk price. <laughs> at a bulk price just to get rid of them. Um, and then you know this this last time I oh, I man. went to yeah keep going keep going so this great. last time I went to. Um, get rid of my cards you know yep, yep, it was yep. COVID times okay so 2020 2021 mm -hmm. you know i wanted to get rid and i wanted to get rid of them the right way and i started looking into you know how to sell cards and what cards were worth and you know i'd never really done it before so now you know my love for the game is is that green yeah let's um, go oh, the green the green and the brown man you, you all get like a christmas tree down <laughs> You know, I, uh, I still enjoy playing. I still I love crafting decks, building decks. Right, right, um, right, right. There's not as much time, you know, right, as right, there right. used to be. Of course, of course. Of course. Um, but you know, it turned into a side hustle, and then I just kept buying and kept selling cards, and now they're everywhere. Right, right. I mean, <laughs> I love that feedback. I love it, man, because I'm like down south. You know what I mean? And that's what I feel like we've been building out here in this community. It's just a lot of like-minded people. You know, a lot of people that. Uh, yes, they love the game. We have some people that are competitors, that are collectors, but there's a lot of us that just enjoy, like Down South said, that green. You know what I mean? Seeing a 2X, a 3X, a 5X, that's really what I enjoy, but also with a game that I love. Yeah, I mean, are there better opportunities maybe in One Piece or in Dragon Ball or, uh, you know, in Digimon? No, nah, not there. But guys, you know, in uh, some other TCG um, or this and Magic or whatever, I don't know and I don't care. I love Yu-Gi-Oh! And I just love the fact that we get to be able to um you know buy low sell high for the most part yeah can we take the occasional losses things of that nature sure but it's nice to be able to like down south said maybe have a, a side hustle um you know and and um be able to take advantage of so many opportunities here because we're all you know just educating ourselves seeing the charts analyzing supply and demand and what i love about down south he's very da data oriented you know into the uh, spreadsheets and analyzing pull rates and ratios um, so that's the value that he'll definitely be providing on his own channel once he starts in that journey and i'm definitely uh, looking forward to that and then the last part is um just a, uh, two more questions one is um just uh the first one is is there any one thing that you would want to change just constructive feedback about um the fresh off the press uh channel i wouldn't change a thing man you're doing it fantastic um <laughs> one thing i would say um it would be neat to see you know maybe some sort of community forum somehow where you can have people, you know, request cards for tomorrow's market watch for you. Okay. Um, kind of, so maybe through Twitter, maybe through the community page on YouTube. Um, I okay. know Saki does that a lot of, okay. they'll just post up, you know, say, hey, what what cards am I going over in tomorrow? I um, like it. It kind of, kind of helps you get the pulse of people a little bit more. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's, that's a great feedback. I mean, honestly, that's something that um, I've had a little idea of, and we actually have a, a section in the Discord. But, you know, people took it like to just talk about like just cards instead of actually posting cards for, for Marco watches. Um, but, yeah, something that I discussed with Sage, um, you know, about like a couple of months ago, because, um, yeah, I mean, I'm surprised that I've gone this far without receiving much feedback or recommendations from actual from from people like, Jay, you should cover this card or that. Yeah, there's the occasional one in the comment section or whatever. But for the most part, I'm writing solo on that. So I really love that because the community um, is always watching the markets and there's so much value that the community can provide 
so yeah that's something that maybe we should revamp in the discord uh, server of course not everyone is in the discord but i believe there's enough people in there to provide that feedback um to me um so that's definitely something to consider um and uh, i believe discord is the the best place to at least start off with that um so definitely really really like highlighting uh, that feedback because it's definitely good just to feel the pulse of the community in that sense so i really do appreciate that feedback brother thank you thank you and then the last thing is yes, what's sir. your uh one uh favorite thing about the channel maybe when you first joined maybe when you first became a member maybe the discord maybe just whatever you feel and um, what's been like that one thing that makes you know um this channel not necessarily your favorite compared to others but what is your favorite aspect of the fresh off the press uh youtube channel you know man I, I love that you come at us with with data and facts and you know you show the charts you break down the charts um, I believe you said you've come from a crypto stock yes. background, so you understand the charts and you you explain that to people in a way that's easy for them to comprehend. Um, I've also came from a crypto background myself. I didn't awesome. get into it too much, but right, I, you know, yeah, enough yeah. to enough to not, not lose all my money. <laughs> right, right. That's um, all so, you need. So, sure. I, <laughs> so I can appreciate you know you you breaking it down for people and not just saying hey buy this card sell this card. Right, right. Um, and then mm -hmm. and Go then ahead. the. The, the beautiful thing of what you've built is is the community. Um, the, the guys that, that come and watch your videos and comment, the, the guys in the Discord community. Um, it's just a, a great place to share ideas, to bounce ideas off of each other, um, and just, just talk with the boys about Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Um, and there's no negativity, there's no, you know, I've been in other, other groups, Discords, and it's just, it's, it's bad on new people in a lot of those discords and, and yours is very open, very free, very welcoming, welcoming. There we go. There we go. I mean, wow. Well, that, that, that feedback was amazing guys. Like, uh, down South just said, get yourself over here in the discord. Like he just, um, said, uh, we are building something beautiful, something great, just that environment over there. Um, you know, where we can all share about the passion that we love. Um, and, uh, just, just like he said, just talk some Yu-Gi-Oh with the boys. That's what I've always wanted just to, get like-minded people um to come to the community um and share together and i appreciate the feedback bro thank you so much you know for finding value in what i do for being an actual member of the channel for being so supportive um since you you know came into our community um and i'm glad that uh, you just continue to find value in what i do it was amazing it was a blast having you on uh definitely the first but most li most likely uh, not the last time we have down south we'll probably get him on for a bonanza um you know a, a reprint um uh, you know take what, what's coming speculation this that and the third so stay tuned for that um and yeah we gave you over an hour video man that's why i love you know these collabs with the members with jimmy with sage you know back then before he had his own channel with chris just so many amazing members that we've you know we provide so much value and especially to the people a lot of you guys say jay i love the long market watches and this and that and the third so this one yeah it's around malice but you know again there's a lot of cards that um, you know, staples like impulse, things you should be looking at. There's always value, excuse me, in these market watches. So I really appreciate uh, you hopping on down south. And again, he should be opening his channel soon. So stay tuned for that. And I don't know. Do you have any last words before we get out of here? No, man, I really appreciate you having me on. I had a blast. Um, like I said, I, I love the opportunity to get on here. And whenever you want to have me back, I'll be back. Perfect. Couldn't have said it any better. Guys, that was down south for you guys. Thanks for hopping on, guys. And as always, if you made it this far into, out into the video, man, what am I going to do with you guys? You guys are just straight MVPs. Guys, thank you so much for your time, for your support, and for your attention. Stay fresh.